Welcome to my series called What the H-E-L-L, and today we ask the question, why the hell does it happen? A.K.A. Why the hell does hell exist? Romans 6, verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Ezekiel 18, verse 4, Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. Since everyone in the world has sinned, the consequence of sinning is death. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Hebrews 9, verse 27 to 28. And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. God wanted to redeem us. So that's why he gave his only son to pay the penalty of sin and die for us, even though he never sinned in his life. Jesus paid the price of death for all of us. Romans 5, verses 8 through 10. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. We just have to accept that Jesus died for our sins and that his death paid the penalty of sin for us. God being love will never force us to choose to follow him. He'd rather have us make the choice for ourselves. There will, however, be some people who will choose to not follow or accept Jesus' death on the cross for them. Matthew 25, verse 41. Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Revelation 20, 15. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Psalm 37, 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. God's purpose is that hellfire will destroy the devil, all sin, and the unsaved to completely get rid of sin for all eternity. His goal is to blot out the existence of sin for all time. Nahum 1 verse 9. What do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. Affliction will not rise up a second time. God promises that sin will never rise up again. Revelation 21 4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. There will be peace, love, joy, and happiness for all eternity with God, without any trace of sin, including pain, death, tears, or sadness. And that is something to look forward to. Thank you so much for joining me on Hell Week. I hope these videos have been enlightening to you. Again, I don't claim to know everything there is to know about this topic, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, in the meantime, if you're interested in learning more, there are sources in each caption of every video that I've posted. Thank you so much. See you later.